We are tracking the chance for severe weather here in our state, and that same system causing this damage in Dallas County, Alabama. Dozens of trees were uprooted as the storm rolled through this afternoon. Let's get you straight to Chief Meteorologist Chris Holcomb, who is tracking the main system headed our way, Chris. Yeah, and that line's moving through Alabama right now, and it is prompting severe thunderstorm warnings. Earlier, uh, we had numerous tornado warnings in Alabama, but as that moved into Georgia, it hit some more stable air, and it started to weaken a little bit, so not a lot of activity over Atlanta right now, but here's that next wave that's going to be moving in while you're sleeping tonight. Some of that beginning to push into northwest Georgia with some heavier rain uh, rain approaching the Rome area right now into Floyd County. You can see more of these storms in Alabama, a lot of lightning and thunder with that. And then new severe thunderstorm warnings now south of Birmingham near Montgomery and north of that. We'll have to watch this line as it gets into northwest or into West Georgia here. At any time, we could see some rotation developing along that. Here you can see the tornado environment is much higher in Alabama. But when you get into Georgia, that tornado environment is lower. Now that's right now. We think during the overnight hours as our air destabilizes a little bit more, we're actually going to warm up a little bit overnight toward tomorrow morning. And as that line moves in, our air will destabilize and that could sustain the potential for some stronger storms to develop overnight. Still with that potential for damaging winds and yes, even the chance for a few of those tornadoes around. Take a live look out there right now. This is our driving shot up in the Rome area where things aren't too bad uh, right now. Wet roads and we're beginning to see that next batch of rain coming coming into the western parts of uh, Floyd County at this hour, about to cross over the line with some of those heavier showers. Now, we do have a tornado watch in effect for much of Alabama. It cuts off right at the Georgia-Alabama line. It does include Cleburne County and Randolph County. Earlier, the Storm Prediction Center was talking about potentially extending that into Georgia, but with that low tornado environment, they haven't done that yet. It is possible they may extend that into Georgia overnight and into tomorrow morning. We also have a flood watch in effect for Northwest Georgia. That's where we're seeing that heaviest rain and the potential for some flooding there. Stay with us. I'm going to walk you through the timeline of what to expect when these storms roll through and then when we'll be in the clear tomorrow.